Well, tonight, a local seatbelt manufacturer is responding to a federal announcement that aims to make school buses safer for students. Contact 5 investigator Katie Legrone continues her series that began with her special report, Lessons from Aaron. Katie. That's right, Jay. Less than 24 hours after we showed you why most local school buses are not equipped with both lap and shoulder belts, a Jupiter based manufacturer invited us inside their warehouse where they are already seeing the impact of a federal push for three point belts. Inside this Jupiter warehouse, so they sew the, the first anchor on there. Production. Then it goes to pack. And then she does the buckle and passing 5,000. And testing is in full swing. We're not selling kitchen widgets, and people's safety relies on it. On seat belts. Buses, uh, school buses, commercial vehicles, cars. But it's the ones for school buses that has seat belt solutions sale manager Carlos Portilla gearing up for what he hopes will be a string of new business. And it's always been a push for lap belts, lap belts, lap belts. Now, all of a sudden, it's a you know three point belt. Last month, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration publicly endorsed lap and shoulder belts be equipped on school buses across the country. Crashes like the one in 2012 that killed nine year old St. Lucie County student Aaron Beauchamp helped inspire the push. This simulation video explains why. They're seeing, you know, after these accidents when kids are moving around and flying out of the seat that. Now it's important to keep them into the seat. Three point belted school buses can run a district at least $8,000 more than lap equipped buses. Palm Beach and St. Lucie County schools are local districts already phasing them in. If we continue with this some years from now, all of our fleet will have the three point belts. Portia expects the government will eventually make three point belted school buses law. Sure, he'll reap the benefits. He hopes it's in more ways than just money. You know, I have a one year old and a five year old son, and when they go to school, I'm going to, you know, I hope that they have integrated seatbelts with three point harnesses in them. Yeah. You know, that's going to make me feel a lot better. Yeah. And right now, the feds are keeping the push to add these three point seatbelts to school buses up to local school districts. Katie Legrand, WPTV, News Channel 5.